Howdy, folks. Join me to learn the story of this dynamic Georgia reef, a great place to live. Coastal Conservation Association was founded in 1978 in Houston to restore the redfish population in the Gulf of Mexico. Its 140,000 members in 17 coastal states have gone on to achieve many conservation wins for the fish and their habitat. CCA Georgia, founded in 1986, now has six local chapters with 1,200 members. One of its areas of focus is marine habitat. It is well known that sunken ships are teeming with life, much like a natural seafloor. In 1991, construction began on the CCA JL artificial reef by sinking the tugboat Detroit. In years since, rubble from the old Talmadge Bridge, old bridge supports, 100-foot tug Devon, several 100-foot barges, concrete culverts, and 20 New York subway cars have been added to the site. The reef is now home to thousands of species and teams with plant and animal life. So, what's so special about artificial reefs? Well, you see all this life around me. Plants, little sea squirts, small fish, big fish. Before this artificial reef was built, there was nothing here but sand and seawater. You see, hard surfaces are needed to allow an ocean ecosystem to develop. It can't happen on shifting sand. So creating homes for the plants and animals you see here are what reefs are all about. You just saw one reef site, but working with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources and other partners, CCA has helped create 27 offshore reefs and 15 inshore reefs along Georgia's coast. That's a lot of habitat. In addition, working with our partners, CCA has helped restore oyster beds in seven locations. Healthy oyster populations are critical to keeping coastal waters clean and to provide habitat for many marine species, especially juvenile. Habitat is just one part of the story. CCA also advocates for sustainable rules and regulations and conducts a robust public outreach and education program. But those stories are for another time. We would, however, like to share just a bit about the Marine Conservation License Plate, which CCA got the state legislature to approve in 2017. In just two years, sale of that license has yielded more than $300,000 for conservation. The first projects funded were the recent deployment of a 180-foot Menhaden fishing vessel at the JY Reef and an 82-foot shrimp trawler to augment the CCA JL Reef. Folks, these things could only happen because people like you cared and supported the work of CCA. We thank you from the bottom of, well, from the bottom of the ocean. And remember, there's lots more to do. You've helped and you can still help. Please make a difference. And for more information about our efforts, go to ccaga.org. You can also donate there.